and this might sound a little bit crazy to you, but you better thank God you're on here listening tonight. You better thank God that somebody is trying to make it plain to you. You ought to thank God for him wanting your understanding open to the point that these witches and 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 people who utilize demons. Look, people who are utilizing and worshiping demons are not necessarily witches. But they all fall under witchcraft. Because a Luciferian will not say that or identify with being a witch. A Satanist will not identify with being a witch. Because, because they consider themselves more highly evolved than just pure witches. They fall into the category of, of uh, wizards and sorcerers. Necromancers and diviners, uh, brothers and sisters. And with that information right there, I'm going to pray this prayer. Breaking any covenant or agreement with Satan. Because uh, I can assure you of something. I do deliverance every day. Every day. Every day. And the majority of the people that I pray with have no idea they are a witch. They have no idea that they were born a witch. They have no idea that they could ever have been born a witch. And the big, big, big problem comes in is you don't know, brothers and sisters, what your grandmother 10 generations back did. You don't know what your grandfather 10 generations back did. But I'm beginning to understand why. In that book of Matthew, it starts out with the genealogy of Jesus Christ. I'm beginning to understand that God had to come down 42 generations to find a body that could be covered by his Holy Spirit that could contain ooh, the seed of Jesus. You see, there's a lot, a whole lot to this generational stuff. Example, I've been teaching this. And a lady sent me, she went to the doctor about a week ago. And she sent me the form she had to fill out. And the form she had to fill out was asking her about the genealogy of her family with regards to cancer and heart disease. Did anybody in your family have heart disease? Did anybody in your family die from cancer? Did your mama have heart disease? Did your daddy? You know why? Because that doctor, that hospital knows something. And this is what they know. Your own spiritual and natural abilities, predispositions and interests, are working together to make you either who you are, who God wants you to be, or who Satan is conforming you to be, brothers and sisters.